Social media is full of AI slop, but sometimes you find a real gem like a search agent 8 billion. This is an open source AI model designed to do deep research. Unlike standard chatbots that just guess an answer, this model acts like a detective. If you ask it a complex question, it doesn't just answer, it breaks the problem down, performs 10 to 15 separate research queries against a local database. It could be Wikipedia, it could be article, it could be your own company's data. It gathers the evidence, verifies the information, and then gives you a final answer. In this video, we are going to install it and we are going to check it out on our own data. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Also, please follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any slop. So before I install and run this model, let's talk a bit more around it. The most important point or the killer feature is that usually training a model to use tools is incredibly expensive because you have to pay for every search query using APIs like Serper or Google and there are various other stuff there. But this team, which by the way is from Tencent China, gives you an immense insight how these Chinese labs are trying to generate the models but at the same time due to the uh, budget constraints <clears throat> due to the sanctions, they are trying to save money as much as possible. So what they have done is they realized they could cut that cost of training to zero by not using the live web at all. They hosted all the data locally, which is cheaper, storage is cheap. And then to train the model, they just did 300 iterations then around 1000 practice runs per iteration and 10 search calls per run. This is over 3 million search queries. After that, what they did, they <clears throat> just simply trained the model. That's it. If they had used a paid web search API at roughly around 50 cents per 1000 queries, they could have ended up more than thousands and thousands of dollars. So that is just in search fees. So what they did, they built a local retrieval server using free offline data. The result, zero API cost. So they have proved that you don't need the live internet to train a top tier research agent, plus you can do it for free. And that is how these Chinese labs are working, especially this Tencent. So now you know, know the whole background. Let's get it installed. My system is Ubuntu and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Okay, now in order to download and serve the model, I'm just going to use VLLM. If you don't know what, what VLLM is, how to get it installed, just go to my channel, search with VLLM tutorial and watch this first video. You will become a hero from zero in VLLM in no time. So I already have it installed. I'm just going to serve it on my local system. And the model is getting loaded. Let's wait. Takes around a couple of minutes while that happens. Also, this model is based on Quen3 by the way. And there are other three variants too. One is 30 billion and one is without HQ. So this is the HQ version, which we are installing. The HQ model is based on Quen3 8 billion and trained with Outlier suppression training strategy, which I will explain shortly. This is without HQ. And again, it is also trained, it, sorry, it is trained without Outlier suppression training strategy. And then we have the search agent A3B. Again, this is the model based on Quen3 30 billion A3B mixture of expert model trained without outlier suppression training strategy. Now, what is outlier suppression training strategy? This is just to improve the quality. It is a technique designed to stabilize reinforcement learning by aggressively terminating abnormal trajectories that show extreme behavior, such as generating a burst of parallel tool calls, repeating search queries, or producing malformed tool syntax. 
So instead of applying partial penalties or ignoring these errors, this new strategy immediately stops the generation process and assigns a reward of zero. And that prevents these high variance samples from polluting the updates and significantly reduces training noise. So all in all, improves the quality of model. And this is a really, really important innovation. And we might see this innovation being used in various models in 2026. Let's go back to our terminal and our model is you can see downloaded. There are four shards of it and it is now being served on our local system and it takes around 15.2 uh, gigabit or you know VRAM on our system at the moment. And as you can see, VLLM is now serving it on our local system. I will just keep it running and now let's test it out. So for the purpose of using this model, what I'm going to do, I'm going to access that model at this local host. I have defined a tool which is going to do the search on the basis of search query, which this model is going to generate. And this is quite flexible. You can then make that search to any local private offline corpora. So for instance, I'm what I'm going to do, I have this PDF file on my local system. And you can see that this in the risk management section, there is, it is right in the middle of the document where I have this line which says cybersecurity investment of $67 million enhanced our defense capabilities. And then there were no cybersecurity incident and all that stuff. So I'm just going to search it accordingly. Let me take you to my terminal and then I'm just going to run this. So my question was, did we have any security breaches last year and how much did we spend on defense? This is a tool call it has done on the basis of natural language prompt. And then you can see that it has generated this tool call, which is right according to our tool, which we defined. And then it has done that tool call, which I did from my code. And then it has gone in, found the answer, found the context, the, and it is sort of a needle in the haystack. And then it has given me the final answer that this was a budget. And then according to this report, a citation is also there, all verifiable after thinking it has given us the response. So pretty targeted and directed. And that is what really, really good about it, that it can do a targeted search on such a cheap budget, which is the main attraction for me. As you can see that this is what their other options are. You can even go with the 30 billion one. That's it. Let me know what do you think. Very pumped about the next year. I think we are going to see a lot and lot of innovation around cost optimization, quality enhancement, and also the models and the AI tooling, which is going to enhance business value because that is what we need. It really don't need AGI and all that mumbo jumbo, which is going on social media. This is what matters for the bottom line of companies. That's it. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps. Thank you for all the support.